baseball legend, barrier breaker, neighborhood hooligan? It's true, but not quite in the way you might think. Jackie Robinson endured many hardships before, during, and after his Major League Baseball career. Some of them include being born to a family of sharecroppers in Georgia, his father leaving the family when he was just a boy, and even being court-martialed in the Army after standing up to a racist bus driver. A memorable hardship was when the St. Louis Cardinals threatened to refuse playing against the Brooklyn Dodgers if Jackie took the field. Despite the many difficulties growing up, ESPN writer Howard Bryant once said that Robinson could have gone pro in any sport he wanted. He told California Sun, you can make an argument that Jackie Robinson was the greatest athlete in American history. Sports weren't the only thing Robinson got into as a young man. For a time in his childhood, Robinson engaged in an activity that many other poor minority youth engage in to this day. He joined a street gang with some other non-white kids from his neighborhood. It started when he moved from Georgia to California. Jackie's mother started as a sharecropper in South Georgia, only around 15 miles north of the Florida-Georgia line. But when Jackie Robinson's father left the family for, quote, another woman, his mother took him and his four siblings to Pasadena, California to start over. She eventually worked hard enough in California to buy a house with another family in 1922, becoming the full owner a couple of years later. Though the town of Pasadena was and is relatively affluent, Robinson and his family lived in poverty as his mother worked a series of odd jobs. The community was mostly white, save for Robinson and a handful of Asian and Latino kids, and in Robinson's case, he only had a single mom who worked to support the family. She couldn't always be home, and Robinson and the other non-white neighborhood kids found themselves excluded from organized sports and other activities available to white kids. Ultimately, as young, bored teens often do, they found mischief and started a street gang. Fortunately, the gang's activities had less to do with drive-by shootings and dealing drugs, like the Bloods or Crips of today. Instead, it had more to do with youthful shenanigans that actually seemed downright quaint by comparison. It was the Jim Crow era, and though slavery had been abolished years before, laws and codes against racial mixing were in full effect. According to Boom California, Robinson once said, Pasadena regarded us as intruders. It was so bad that at one point, a cross was reportedly burned on the Robinson family front lawn per the California Sun. In response to being unaccepted in the community and not allowed to be part of the same activities as the white kids, the rejected neighborhood boys banded together and formed the Pepper Street Gang. The gang's criminal activities were limited to relatively minor offenses like stealing fruit, vandalizing cars with dirt clumps, and stealing golf balls and selling them back to the golfers. According to California Sun, another thing the gang would do was to make bets with the white kids that they would beat them at sports or other games kids played at the time. When the Pepper Street Gang won, they took the money they made from the bet. Little did those white kids know they were going against one of the best budding athletes in American history, who would go on to become the first black baseball player in Major League Baseball when he joined the Brooklyn Dodgers in 1947. Despite the borderline trivial nature of the gang's crimes, life as an outlaw does not bode well for a young boy who wants to get out of poverty. Fortunately, a local reverend took an interest in Robinson and helped him navigate his way out of being a local hooligan. Over time, Jackie Robinson has pushed us forward. For him, there was no satisfaction with simply being allowed to enter the room. After entering college at UCLA, Jackie Robinson's star started to shine. The natural athlete lettered in not only baseball, but also track, football, and basketball. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more grunge videos about your favorite athletes are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.